Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Last time we took a we finished up on the first play in the game that's for some reason completely slipped my mind, Novalis. And we went to Arida as well. I'm completely skipping over Metropolis for the time being, because I figured like Metropolis would have been big enough to have its own video for. And, rightfully so, this is a pretty big planet. So, let's get to it, because we have a lot of ground to cover today. Anyways, let's get going. I don't know if we have a new weapon on this planet or not. Probably not, because... Oh, we do! Yeah, we can get the blaster, which I think I'm actually going to buy, because... Although... Although there's problems with this gun, admittedly, I do sort of like this one. But Welcome I'm painfully aware of some of the problems that it has. So, let's just get going here. You will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck! Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. <laughs> yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, if only meeting, if only meeting your idols was that easy, Ratchet. Then again, I'm not really one to talk, because I guess I kind of have met all my, most if not all my idols, I mean. Not that I'd really call, not that I'd really call him my idol, per se, but... Um, I was inspired to get this game by another Let's Player that actually autographed my copy of this game. Surprisingly, so, yeah. Anyways, I actually kind of, really do kind of like this planet, though, because it kind of... The platforming in it kind of reminds me a lot of something out of, like, Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario Galaxy 2. And keep in mind, this game predated... I guess it predated the first Galaxy by... I, again, I don't really know how many years. Galaxy 1 came out in 2007. This game... Uh... Yeah, the, she point, the thing points out that. If you didn't notice it back there, though, there's actually a gold bolt over there. We'll be getting that pretty soon. Once we have the ability to. It predated this game by about five or six years. Or predated Mario Galaxy by about five or six years. So. Speaking of which, I heard discussion saying, uh. Miyamoto. Wouldn't. Like, says he's. Considering Mario Galaxy 3 or something. I'm not really sure. What to think of that. I guess it's been a few years since Galaxy. A few more years since. Between Galaxy 2 and Galaxy 3, but it's still. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance! Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, this is one thing that you might be hesitant on buying the blaster for immediately. 
but let's buy this because we have the money for it. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can sing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. So yeah, we got a swing shot. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron swing shot. Use it on standard Versa targets like the ones in the ride. Now, the swing shot... I like the concept of this item, but... It has its faults. And... I really feel like the swing... The swing shot was definitely fixed in later games. It's me It was mentioning something about holding L1 to go into first person. Unlike most games, which is very rare for me to be saying this, I actually don't feel like the swing shot is useful in first person at all. Unlike most other tether recovery things like a hook shot or whatever. The swing, because the thing about this game is the swing shot can be used automatically, so. Yeah, because of that, I really, 90% of the situations don't seem it as like worthwhile to do that at all. Or put it in first person at all, I should say. To quickly center the camera, just tap the L1 button. Let's blow this up. Some more ammo, and yeah, see, we don't need blaster ammo anymore, which is why I usually never buy that ammo. Unless it's like super, super late game, and I just need ammo on the spot at a certain point. Also, oh, I guess it's over here where I go. It's kind of weird, you'd think... They might have had a secret there, but... No, not as far as I know. Now, I do know this, that... To get all the gold bolts in this level, you do need, uh, the... A certain item we don't have yet, so... Like the one we saw earlier. And this is where I will switch to my blaster, because... Yeah. So long, sucker. The blaster does have some decent homing on it, for what it is. But, I don't know, it's just not that great of a weapon. Because... It's something... There's just... The ability to upgrade weapons, which was introduced in Ratchet and Clank 2, made them so... So much better in so many ways and not having that ability also pff, what is this guy doing to one of my friends out there who really likes Mario Kart Wii I think this guy is practicing for coconut mall glitches okay no <laughs> Yeah, I had to make that joke, because one of my... I don't know, one of my friends really... One of my friends really likes uh, Pokemon Mall in that game. Which, I, it's a fun map, yes, I'm not gonna lie, but... I don't know, there's all the weird glitches and shit on it. That's just what it kind of reminded me of whenever I see an escalator like that. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, don't hit me. Okay, you cannot hit me, thankfully. I'm gonna reach that other guy. No, my bullets disappear too quickly. I'm actually kind of curious. I doubt you'd get anything for it, but there might be a way to, like, Ratchet. blow up That's one of those ships. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 7.66, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. 
of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Yeah, buy a heli pack for a thousand dollars. Might as well. Okay, that won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Yeah, the heli pack is actually kind of an interesting thing because it lets you. It more or less lets you. Do an equivalent of a backflip, basically getting some extra height and used in a very similar way, except it's not really a backflip. And it also lets you glide, which actually I don't even think we can do yet. We can do a long jump as well. And I'm keeping my eyes open here because I know that there is going to be. Oh, there we go, that's the glide thing. I guess you. I guess it just wasn't a good enough area to do it otherwise. There is a gold bolt coming up here in a little bit that... Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press and hold the X button in the air to glide. Okay, the glides... Sorry about that. Yeah, I guess the glide... I don't, I don't know if it's something to do with the this being Ratchet & Clank 1 or something, but I don't know, the glide just feels a bit strange in this game compared to what it's like in other games. I don't, I don't know, maybe it just can't use it from like a really low distance or something. Anyways... Uh, I'm also very, very low on health, and... I saw what you just did there. I'm not being that stupid. Especially when I have one damn hit point. I think that's another thing... I, I hate to constantly berate this game because there are aspects of it that I really do like, but having only four units of life... It's a bit annoying to say the least. Also, we have more stairs again. Great to know. Am I going in a circle here? No, I'm not. Never mind. Okay, yeah, the gold bolt that we're coming up on. It. There's a gold bolt we're coming up on. That's what I had a feeling. Um, shit. Okay, so I'm just clearing out all these guys, and after you clear out all these guys... I also forgot. Oh, I just saw the gold ball, too. Yeah, after doing that, you can jump up here. And... Just sort of head up here. Let's say get some ammo. I didn't think I got it for a sec, but I guess I did. And yep, there is a gold bolt up here. Very, very convenient. Yeah, Ratchet really doesn't look that good. I mean, yeah, I know he's kind of, kind of weakened here, but still. Probably get a lot of bolts there because there's a lot of enemies there, but uh, I'm gonna pass on that just because I'm really weak. And holy hell, does this feel nice to see some health. And this is something that looks kind of similar to other Ratchet and Clank games, specifically um, Tools of Destruction, which I really should get to playing at some point because I have that one currently. And I. I don't know, I've, I've heard re really good things about Ratchet and Clank 4, but at the same time, all I have right now is a PS3, and I hear that the HD version of Ratchet and Clank 4 that they have isn't that good, so, like, I've heard multiple people tell me it's, like, really buggy and not worth getting, 
so, or at least not worth getting on the PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 3, I mean, anyway. I don't know why I said PS4 there, but, yeah, whatever. Um, not dealing with that today. I'm healing first. Thank God they kind of give us a good spot to heal anyway. Okay. You are not a very clever. Guy. I don't even remember these enemies at all. They're just sort of like mind down. That seems kind of weird. And we just sort of have an info bot lying around here. Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointments well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah, Ratchet kind of is a little bit of a kind of tough guy attitude going for him. We also have a shortcut open up back out to that one area. Pretty nice, I suppose. Now then, there is something right here that I would like to get if you... I'm trying to figure out position the camera, but if you open up here and fly down to where the traffic is... Check it out! We have a bunch of boxes. But no, more specifically, we got a gold bolt here. Very, very nice, if I do say so myself. The other gold bolt we've actually seen already. And I'll meet you guys over there in a second. Yeah, I suppose right here. I guess something that that one robot uh, showed us earlier, the one who gave us the swing shot, showed us, is that if you take these... You can take these, like, taxi things, I guess you call them, and they'll take you pretty much right to the start of the level. And you can you can use them between, like, multiple points, like, you, if you use one from, like, the end of level to, like, the start, then they'll usually allow, allow you to go back to the end. I can't think of any particular instances where they don't let you go back to the end of the level. Maybe like one or two cases, but for the most part, usually you can go straight back to the ending as well. So yeah. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back here in a sec. Alright, from the very top of the level here... You can... Oh shoot, I didn't really... Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I was just trying to get a pretty good jump going there because you do need to glide a quite a distance to get to this. Thankfully, I don't think the hover pack really... No, the hover pack doesn't exactly like run out based on anything, which is a good thing. I know some... I know some 3D platformers kind of base it on weird stuff like... For example, Tails and Eggman in Sonic Adventure 2 is based over... Uh, how far you travel. Like, they'll slowly descend, but the thing will run out more based on the distance you travel, I guess. It's it's weird, I know, some of the different mechanics that, they, that these games use, but... Now, the hover pack is pretty solid for the most part, so... Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Ratchet and Clank, because we... Finished up here in Metropolis, I think we have all the gold bolts here. Yeah, all missions complete. I don't know about that other one collectible. Okay, back at Al's Robo Shack here, there is another thing I'd like to get as well here. And you might not notice this immediately, but... Actually, this is not at all the way I need to go. 
Okay, so, from... From this spot on the map right here, looking down towards... Towards the Robo Shack, which, as you can see there by the... Building design there. Now then, let's actually try and make our way over there. Yeah, now we can actually make our way over here. You do need to go over here because there is a collectible over here. You may be wondering, where is it? I don't see it. Right there, skill point. Skill points are the other kind of collectibles. They're usually done by doing certain various things. And usually you get trophies for some of them too, for most of these skill points as well. If I never mentioned it, there's around 40 gold bolts in it and as well as... Yeah, there's 40 gold bolts, and I want to say either 30 or 40 skill points as well. And I believe you can... Um, no, it's not in the options. It's something else that isn't really explained all that well. There's two more skill points in this level as well. There's actually one of them for destroying the... Quark robot at the beginning of the level, but we can't exactly do that yet. I thought we could have with a bomb, but no, apparently we can't. And we also can't get the other one either. So. Yeah, the other one we're not going to be able to get for quite a long time, but. Yeah, destroying the Quark robot, that's going to be quite a while into the game before we can do that as well, so we'll remember to come back here for later on. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Ratchet & Clank officially. I'm sorry that the ending of this one kind of drug on a little bit, but next time we're going to head off to... back to Rida and finish up everything that's there, and then head to the logging site Eudora. Which, I don't know if we'll, be get, if we'll get done that level or not, but we'll see. It'll be close, to say the least. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.